questions for Jordan? Yeah, Jordan, I mean, just like Coach said, the big rebounding advantage for Old Dominion, what do you kind of think about it? I know you're a guard, not really mainly your job to rebound the basketball, but it's a team effort, and, and what do you think about your team having to move in that category? Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, you said it, we just, we, we just got to get better. And, um, I mean, even as a guard, I definitely could have done a better job getting in and helping, help, helping our pigs out. I mean, we knew it was going to be a team effort. But, um, yeah, I mean, that was definitely an aspect that I feel like I could have helped. I could have helped out more in. And they're, they're good at that. That's what they do. It's part of their DNA. And, you, you know, usually when you play contrasting styles, it's a team that executes the best uh, in what they do. And, you know, this is, this is kind of what they do. They win the possession game on the backboard, and they, they generate some steals. So um, they were able to do that better, and we were able to execute what we like to do. And kind of what do you take away from this game as things that you need to work on going forward, especially in those categories? Because you're going to see a team in Towson in conference play that plays kind of a similar style, really beats you up on the boards. And, you know, are there things you can take away in a positive sense to improve and be ready for it? That style the next time you yeah, it's got to be a mindset, right? So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta quickly transition from being a half court defender to a rebounder, mm -hmm. and you gotta initiate contact. And if you don't do it, uh, you know the teams that are, you, you know, in their DNA, that's what they do. They chase the ball on the backboard. Then you gotta make sure um, you do a better job on that. Otherwise, you, you're gonna get similar results. Is it really tough to play against a team that feels like they have so many really athletic perimeter plays, especially again, yeah, against it? Yeah, um, I mean, athleticism obviously helps, especially on the defensive end. But um, I think I mean coaches come up with great schemes. I mean to be able to get a to get around that our offense, we we move the ball. So I feel like often we're able we're able like to neutralize that advantage. But I mean, yeah, it's it's harder to score on a more athletic guy. Yeah. And ball control something that's been kind of an issue for the past couple of games, losing the turnover battle by a significant margin. What's, what do you focus on going forward to mitigate some of those issues? Yeah, I think just making simple plays. You know, when you're trying to make home run plays or you, you're going too quickly, you grab a rebound and you're trying to move too quickly. We had a couple of those in the backcourt where we're, we're mishandling the ball and, um, and you know, dealing with their aggressiveness, right? You, get, you can't leave the ball out in public property. You got to put it away and be strong with it. And they were able to swipe at the ball and come out with some turnovers, and we just got to be better at that.